I might be filming this. This is a uh, Drugar spawn area that I found down here. I have a, <coughs> a circling farm not far from here. But I couldn't raise that up, so I actually used console commands to spawn it in so it would be up in the air. The Drugar nest. That uh, I built, and that's wolves, two, two star wolves up there. Uh, also spawn those in, but if you're against that kind of thing, you can stand up here and shoot them as they fall with a bow, which is just as convenient, but uh, I did the wolves, you know, so that, you know, they are uh, continually breeding, and uh, you can AFK here if you wanted to for a while, uh, and just drop down in here and pick them up when you want, you know, and uh, basically I just built a little wall all the way around it, that I can walk around, can't get into the house from here, but yeah, no big deal, there's only one door on it, because I have a portal and some boxes in there where I stash the entrails. While I'm here supervising it or whatever. Because if you leave and go somewhere else, they don't, uh, I guess it'll still work, but I don't think it spawns a whole lot, maybe. I think you have to basically be in the area, if I'm not mistaken. So. But you can see, in a pretty short time, what I've uh, managed to farm here. This is just from the wolves dying and being replaced which can't be helped so yeah 40 of those already <laughs> yeah, gotta love that yep but it didn't take very long to do really i mean i used a hoe to raise the ground up because uh, that way it doesn't aggro anything. About the only thing that gets aggro from the Drugars is the ones that spawn with the bows. They will shoot sometimes at the stone foundation I have around up there. Or they'll shoot at the pin up there. Uh, but usually they fall off. So they don't. It doesn't take a lot of damage as you can see. Uh, and there's. There's another little fresh wolf club down there. See? Yeah, yay! So, you know, she's. They're spawning. And always to, to feed them, just throw raw meat in there. And you gotta make sure you got raw a bunch of raw meat. You can see all the shiny stuff in there. It's because I made a funnel, basically, so that I could drop raw meat in there and keep the wolves in there. The two spawn, uh, the pair of spawns, working. Uh, if I was to go three poles over, three core poles, the long ones over from where that is, I could probably put another wolf spawner spawner over here and make it a little more efficient. But as it is now, it's working so and they'll spawn down here in the bottom too up to so many and then they'll stop but I think that pole up there should be high enough to where that sh that they will still drop in here no matter if they're not spawning down here so these are all tame for me feeding them. You can uh, use console command tame to tame all of them and drop them in here. That way they don't bother you. But any ones that spawn in afterwards will uh, will be tame because you know they're in a bunch of tame wolf area here. You know. so, pretty cool. Good way to get entrails for making your sausages. You know. Just something simple and easy 
kind of cool. Thought I'd share. I mean, I know other people have probably done videos about this. But I'm always looking for unique ways to farm stuff without a lot of effort, and this is the one. So, hope you all enjoy.